ladies and gentlemen, Bokar Tov, Sabal Kher und guten Morgen. My name is Katharina Konarek. I'm a PhD student of political science from Germany. Currently, I'm enrolled as a visiting research fellow at the Haifa Center for German and European Studies and at the Butzerius Institute for Research of Contemporary and German History and Society here at the University of Haifa. Together with the head of the Butzerius Institute, Dr. Amos Morris Reich, and my dear colleague, Lea Droher Battalion, I have the pleasure today to honor Professor Manfred Lahnstein, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Zeitstiftung, long-standing friend of the University and founder of the Butzerius Institute. First, I want to thank our pianist, Ivan Meget, for his performance of Aaron Copland's Fanfare of the Common Man, arranged by Roger Brisson. I wish also to thank Professor Yuval Sheket, head of the Department of Music, for his dedicated and very professional guidance in preparing the board meeting. As you just have heard, we all enjoyed and we will still enjoy. Writing this fanfare, Aaron Copland was inspired by the famous speech, The Century of the Common Man, held by the American Vice President Henry Wallace in 1942. In this speech, Wallace laid out a positive vision for the aftermath of the Second World War, after the defeat of the Nazis. It was an encouraging speech for freedom and peace. The portrayal of the common man standing up for his and other rights seems like a fitting description for Professor Manfred Lahnstein. Born in Germany during the Second World War, Manfred Lahnstein was appointed Federal Minister of Finance under the German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt in 1982. Afterwards, he worked for the Bertelsmann Group, founded his own international consulting firm, and became chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Zeitstiftung. Israel he visited first in 1967. A pioneer Israel, how do he described it a David opposed to an Arab Goliath. Moved by the common history of both countries, he became aware of the everlasting responsibility of Germany towards Israel. In his book, Muzzle and Chutzpah, Manfred Lahnstein also reveals his personal connection to the country by telling the life story of Blanca and Rudolf, his Jewish parents-in-law. Since 1969, Manfred Lahnstein is governor of the University of Haifa. In 2001, he became the first German non-Jewish chairman of the Board of Governors ever appointed at an Israeli university. On this special occasion, the Butzeris Institute was founded by the Zeitstiftung. The institute promotes research on contemporary history as well as on the social, the cultural, the political, reality of Germany. It also works to foster greater understanding of modern Germany among the academic community. On this occasion, let me quote Willy Brandt, former Chancellor of Germany. In 1977, he reflected the situation in the Middle East during a conference of the Israeli Labour Party. He said, politics must follow visions. The vision is a peaceful coexistence of people in the Middle East. Manfred Lahnstein has this vision. He's a visionary. With his engagement, he's building bridges, connecting the past and the future, bringing together Arab and Jewish Israelis, fostering peace, human rights, and a living democracy to create a better future for the third generation in this country. To give tribute to Manfred Lahnstein's support of the University of Haifa, the Butzeris Institute, assisted by the Research Authority, prepared a short video. Now please enjoy the impressions of 40 years cooperation between Haifa and Germany. instrumental 
in creating excellence in research and teaching in a tolerant, open, and multicultural environment. This is exactly our vision. You helped create relationships with leading academic institutions in Germany. You continue to contribute your time and effort to the student body. You dedicate yourself to various research projects on topics such as learning disabilities, brain research, health and well-being, and many, many more. It is hard to grasp with mere words the gratitude we owe you, Manfred. It is a great honor for us to have you share our path. And finally, the most important thing I have to say is that you are a real mensch, Manfred. When I was elected the vice president of this university, I was told by everyone that a, a great potential a chairman will be Professor Manfred Landstein. And of course, Max Warburg, our good friend, has agreed to approach Manfred, and Manfred has agreed to meet us for a dinner. Manfred has agreed to become a member of the board, later chairman of the Friends in Germany, and eventually chairman of the board of governors. On behalf of the University of Haifa, and on behalf of myself, Manfred, we thank you so much for all your contribution, your care for the university, and we wish you uh, uh, only the best health and continue to uh, be involved as you are today in so many activities, including the University of Haifa. Thank you very much, Manfred. <laughs> dass du jetzt in Israel bin und ich gratuliere dich aus Frankfurter Tor in Berlin. Die Uni Haifa hatte das Glück, dich als Vorsitzender der Board of Governors offizielle Weise und auch nicht offizielle Weise viel mehr als Dozent Jahre zu haben. Die Identität von dir und von liebe Sonja mit unserer Universität war immer total und voll und immer in deine eigenen Wörter ausgedrückt wurde, unsere Universität oder Our University, sagst du immer wieder und wieder. Übrigens, wer ist unsere, das ist eine gute Frage. Und ich weiß, das wäre es auf dich anhängig, die unsere war noch stärker und vielleicht etwas anders. In wiederholten Teste, du warst immer unterstützt Israel sehr stark und neulich dein Artikel über Günter Grass zum Beispiel. Ich bin sicher, dass sogar nicht in offiziellen Status deine Leben an der Uni wird ewige bleiben. You are a great person. You are a great lover of the state of Israel. You are a great lover of Haifa. You are a great lover of the University of Haifa and you are so involved in the University of Haifa. Every time I meet you, it's a big joy for me. And I'm happy that I met you through my position as the mayor of Haifa. On behalf of all the people of Haifa, we would like to greet you, we would like to bless you, we would like to wish you Mazel Tov. <laughs> We wish Professor Lundstein many, many, many more years of involvement uh, with the Institute and with the University. I know, Manfred, that you are not the person for sentimental applause. And yet this is the time and the place to express our gratitude and appreciation of the love, the commitment, the brains, the criticism and the goodwill you have given our university, our city, and our country. He's a person who believes in peace, multiculturalism, and Jewish-Arab coexistence. But above all, Manfred has always been a great friend of me personally and of the University of Haifa. As he likes to say, Haifa and its university 
are and will always remain my home away from home. So, a happy birthday, Manfred. And from all of us at Haifa, shukran, thank you, toda, dankeschön. Reich, Director of the Buceris Institute, to the stage. He will tell us about the upcoming conference on international affairs on the politics of memory dealing with the German Jewish Israeli relations after the Holocaust. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. First of all, I just received um, greetings from the Zeitschriftung, from the CEO, Professor Dr. Michael Gering, and with your permission, I'll read them out first. We are very proud of the fact that Manfred Landstein has been holding such important positions with the University of Haifa for so many years. As you know, Manfred Landstein has been chairman of the board of trustees of the Hamburg-based Zeitschriftung Ebelin und Gerd Bucerius for more than 20 years. Our founder, Gerd Bucerius himself, appointed him chairman, and Bucerius knew why. As CEO of the Zeitstiftung, I have experienced since 1997 Manfred Landstein's wisdom and wit, the brilliance of his thoughts, the audacity of his ideas, his great sense of humor, and the warmth of his heart. We celebrated his 75th birthday in Hamburg in December and January. I wish I could be with you in Haifa now, but my daughter decided to get married on June 1st. Therefore, I congratulate you in writing for having Manfred Landstein as a member of your board of governors and for having him as one of your strongest supporters of abroad. Our foundation, Bucerius Institute at Haifa University, is part of this support. We look forward to many more years of our great collaboration. The Zeitstiftung is happy about sharing Manfred Landstein with you. We wish him ad multos annos. Dear Professor Lundstein, the highest way we in the academy give tribute to someone is by holding an academic event in his honor. It is to honor you, dear Manfred, that we will hold an international conference on international affairs and the politics of memory, German-Israeli-Jewish relations after the Holocaust in January 2014. From my first encounter with Professor Lundstein, I could experience his unconditional commitment to German and Jewish history after the Holocaust with their immense complexities and sensitivities. But I could also sense the deep commitment to Haifa and to the University of Haifa as a model for a multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious society. It is not a matter of chance that Professor Lundstein chose to dedicate his prestige, his time, and his energy to this particular university in this particular Israeli city. The conference deals directly with one of the two subjects that you, Manfred, are committed to and that your ongoing support of the university personify. Let me elaborate. The memory of the annihilation of European Jews has had the most significant impact on virtually all forms of contacts and exchanges between West Germany and Israel since the very beginnings in the early 1950s. This also applies to relations between post-war Germany and Jewish diasporas, most importantly the one in the United States. While these findings seem to be incontestable, one cannot ignore memorial cultures in Israel, Germany, and the entire Western world as a crucial factor. Transformations in the political field were closely intertwined with the changing paradigms of Holocaust memory, stimulated by landmark events such as the Eichmann trial or the screening of the NBC miniseries Holocaust in Germany. Our conference will be the first attempt to bring together international relations and the dynamics of Holocaust memory. The conference bring together senior and junior scholars from Israel, Germany, and the United States is co-organized by Jakob Eder, Hubert Leber, both of whom are here today. Uh, maybe you, yeah, maybe we stand up. And, and Katarina uh, Konarek and will be co-sponsored by the Zeitstiftung, the Bucerius Institute, and the Jena Center for 20th Century History. The planned publication has the potential to become a landmark reference work on the subject. Professor Lanshan's support of the Bucerius Institute over the last decade has turned it into the most um, innovative institute for the study of German history at Israeli universities. 
In the name of the Institute, I hope that we may continue enjoying your presence, Manfred, your energy, and the ideals that you stand for for many more years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Amos, for presenting to us the content of this uh, important conference. I now would like to invite uh, my colleague, Leatro Battalion, Administrative Director of the Butzeris Institute, to the stage to address some personal words to Professor Lahnstein. Dear Manfred, I just realized we both came to Israel the first time in 1967, the year of the Six-Day War. But we only met in 2001, and 13 years have passed since then. I feel like it was yesterday when we established the Butzeris Institute, which has been your flagship and has been so important to you. And a few years later, in a combined effort, you were instrumental in bringing the Haifa Center for German and European Studies to the University of Haifa. It's been my privilege to work with you. And Frau Kahaman, if advice, as well as Amos Morris Reich, to turn the Butzeris Institute into an important establishment for the research of contemporary German history and society at the University of Haifa and in Israel. Dear Manfred, I've always felt close to you and it has been a pleasure to work with you, to be of help. I remember Sonia calling me one day to arrange the landing permit for a private plane in Haifa with you and your friends aboard and taking your brother Gerd to a tour of Einhard. I do not know a person who didn't enjoy working with you. We just heard Yona Yav, our mayor, who did not stop telling me in his interview what a wonderful person you are. And Amos Shapira, our president, saying that you're a real mensch. And only last week, she was. She arranges all your transportation, your board members. She told me two years ago, you greeted, you greeted her every morning with a kiss on the cheek and wished her a wonderful day. What more can be said? I personally will always be grateful for your support of my research and exhibition. And each time I came to Hamburg, it was a special treat for me seeing all of your accomplishments, like the beautiful art museum, and meeting your wonderful secretary and my dear friend Anya. Manfred, stay with us for years to come. Remain young in body and soul. You bring a wonderful spirit of love, commitment, and involvement to unserer Universität, to our university, as you would say. And what would it be without you? Please. Thank you. I don't know if you know former Austrian Chancellor Bruno Kreisky. You should know him. <laughs> well, but uh, he had his advantages as well big advantages. He used to say, you would never guess how much applause I can digest. Uh, for me, it's the contrary. That was too much. <laughs> but thank you from, from the bottom of my heart for everything which has been said. I just want to, to make one correction. I had the honor to work for two chancellors, for two great German chancellors, for Willy Brandt and for Helmut Schmidt. And whereas Willy Brandt loved to be taken as a visionary. Helmut Schmidt said, those who have visions should see the doctor. <laughs> so, and I worked for both of them. Hopefully I've learned from, from both of them. Uh, I was asked to contribute to this beautiful video uh, or to this beautiful ceremony by choosing the music. And then I said, I would like to have Aaron Copeland's fanfare for a common man. But not for the reasons given, although they are very valuable. What else are we but a common man? And uh, that is perhaps the, um, the deepest motivation in, uh, to, to, to work here. And I promise everybody uh, you won't get rid of me. There is a career in the Haifa University. You start as a young 
more or less brilliant, eloquent member of the Board of Governors, you love the university, you help where you can, then you get honored, then you get the honorary degree, and then you get a, a final adieu, and then, Mr. Nazarian, we remain as pieces of furniture, but active pieces of furniture, I can promise you. Thank you again to Daraba and for many years to come.